Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a 3D arrow. So we have some 3D arrows here. They kind of point to each other. And this is one example of a 3D arrow. Here's another example where we're kind of uh, almost interlocking 3D arrows. Uh, they kind of like almost uh, complete a circle. And it's actually quite uh, simple to create. Uh, it's kind of a nice effect that you can do. You can use it in presentations where you might want to show some continuity, uh, a starting point and ending point, or if this could be, this could be kind of a half uh, semicircle where you're starting from one area and going to another. And the 3D effect just gives it a little bit more of a visual appeal. So let me show you how to create something like this. So now we are in a blank slide, and what we want to do is we want to insert a basic shape. So I'm going to go into Insert here, and under the Illustrations group, go under, under Shapes. And what I want to do is I want to insert a block arrow, and just this basic shape here, the circular arrow. So once I want to click on that, I'm going to draw it out. Now I can draw it out kind of freehand here and let that go, but I like to kind of keep it a little bit more uniform. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press Delete is I'm going to press the shift key. Let me go ahead and select the arrow. I've already selected it from insert. And so in, under the drawing group, under the home, it gives me the last uh, several uh, shapes that I selected. So I'm going to go ahead and go under home instead of insert here. I'm going to home and select this one. So I'm going to select the circle arrow. I'm going to press the shift key and kind of just draw it out. So it kind of draws it out a little bit more uniformly. So once that's done, let me kind of just move it up here a little bit. Once that's done, I just need to do a, a bit of transformation to this particular flat uh, semicircle arrow and give it a more 3D look. So there's two things I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to add a bevel to it, and then I'm going to change some of the perspectives. So to do that, uh, I've selected onto the image myself, go under Format, and under the Shape Styles, under Shape Effects, I'm going to go ahead and add a bevel. So you can either add a bevel here, we can add the circle bevel, or we can give this one the cool slant bevel. So uh, these two kind of um, give a bevel shape, but not too much uh, specific design to it. So it gives it a little bit more um, of a 3D looking shape. So I'm going to choose the circle here. And once that's selected, what I want to do now is select some other options here. So I'm going to go under uh, Shape Effects, under 3D Rotation. And there's a couple to choose from. I'm going to choose the, the perspective. So this perspective gives me the option of looking at the perspective of it. Uh, let me go ahead and kind of hover over here. The perspective where it's relaxed moderately. And this one is the perspective relaxed. So these two are kind of uh, a little bit easier to work with. Uh, if you go ahead and kind of work with these later on, you can probably choose other ones that kind of give you a different perspective. And you don't have to do as much adjustments. Uh, there's also this parallel uh, one. Let me go ahead and click on that. You can see that uh, there's some other kind of perspective it gives you, uh, this parallel one, and you can change it later on. But I'm going to go ahead and let me control Z to undo that. I'm going to go ahead and just choose uh, a pretty simple one to work with. I'm going to use this one, which is the relaxed one. So after that's selected, there's a couple more things I want to do with this one. You can already see that uh, there is some 3D-ish um, outline that's going on with it right now, but we want to enhance it a little bit more. So what we want to do is with the image selected, I'm going to go ahead and click right click. Oops. Let me go ahead and right click and go into format shape. And we have our format shape uh, pane open up here. And what I want to do is go under this uh, effects uh, option here. And I'm going to change the format a little bit. So the 3D format, we have our bevel. Um, there's some options where we wanted to uh, change the height. And so basically, the height is what gives uh, that, that particular uh, space between the top and the bottom of that top portion of the bevel. So I like to kind of bring it up to the double digits. Let's say about 20. Let's see how that looks. Let me type 20, press tab. You can see now it's given a little bit more of a shape here. So if I kind of fine tune adjust it by using the arrows here, you can see if I click it a couple of times, we see a little bit more a dramatic, a little bit more, not a dramatic, but a little bit more of an increase of the height here. So that kind of gives me a nice uh, shape here. You, Depending on how you want it to look, you can increase it a little bit more or decrease it. So there is no bottom bevel, so I don't need to do anything here. I had the top bevel that was selected for this particular shape, and so I can do the adjustments there. So let me go ahead and close this one down. And what I want to do now is change the rotation a little bit. Maybe give it a little bit more of uh, a rotation so it's more prominent in some areas. So we can we can do the X rotation. Uh, the X rotation moves on axis. Um, so just imagine that there's an imaginary line uh, 
going from top to bottom and it's spinning uh, that way, spinning across maybe from uh, like the Earth, uh, counterclockwise and counterclockwise. And with the y rotation, there is an imaginary line going horizontally across, and it's going um, basically uh, the other way, uh, maybe spinning north to south and south to north. And so let me let's see how it rotates for the y rotation. Let me see what kind of effect I can give it. So that's that gives me a little bit better effect. Maybe that was a little bit too much. Let me bring it down a little bit. And so that kind of gives a little bit more prominence to the bevel area. Let me go, let me see what I can do with the uh, X rotation, see if that changes anything. No, let me go and move it back. Uh, I think zero is okay. And the Z rotation kind of rotates it um, on the Z axis. So when you think about uh, the uh, 3D shape, you have your X uh, rotation, which kind of goes from left to right or right to left. And your Y rotation goes uh, up and down or down and up. And then your Z rotation goes kind of like when you think about it, uh, either if you think about like 3D movies, it goes forward to you or back backwards from you. So that's your Z rotation. So this is an example of the Z rotation. If I, if I kind of move it over over here, you can kind of see it. There, there's kind of some movement that may indicate that it's going uh, towards you or, or, or from you or away from you. But uh, it really doesn't change too much here. I'm going to go ahead and keep it the same. So what perspective does is, is it, if there, if you think about perspective where there is a single dot uh, kind of in the horizon, uh, you might want to go uh, narrow the field. So basically what it's going to do, let me go ahead and just narrow the field. Now it doesn't really change that much for here. Let me go ahead and widen the field. So if I widen the field, it, it's coming out at you more. Uh, the, the, if you think that dot there, you kind of think of a highway and you're looking straight ahead. It's coming out at you more. So it doesn't really change too much there. I'm going to keep it at 45 and uh, keep it there. So these are the different configurations you can add to that. Or you can just kind of take uh, the defaults here. If I, if I click back here and go under Format and go into Ship Effects, and if I look at the rotation, maybe I just want to go with the presets here. Uh, let me see. Let me, let me go... Maybe this one. Uh, maybe I like that one. So if you don't want to t play too much with the details of the rotation or the format, you can actually just take some of the kind of defined effects here. I'm going to go ahead and Control Z to undo that and, and keep the one that I just did. And so if I want to add some color to this, what I can do is uh, look at the shape field. Maybe I'll just select a, a purple here. So I can select the purple there. And you notice that it seems like there's some some image differences here and basically that's the outline right now the outline is this light bluish color so I'm gonna change that to purple too and once I do that you will see that it kinda of complements the shape fill color a little bit more and so I can also rotate this if I don't like the way that it looks uh, having it from left to right going uh, bottom to top I can do it like that you notice that once I do that also the 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 rotation of it changes a little bit and and I would need to go ahead and play with it a little bit. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo that. So there's a lot of things you can do once you get the basic 3D effect uh, into the shape. There's a lot of things that you can do. Rotate it, give it different colors, uh, play with the different rotations X, Y, and Z and the perspective and maybe if you wanted to widen the height a little bit you can increase that. So there's a lot of things you can do. But the basic thing is we want to get a, a, a bevel on that and we want to increase the height a little bit. And after that, we can play with the rotation, uh, whatever suits our needs. So that's the basics of how to create a 3D arrow in PowerPoint. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.